There's another uh, mechanism for the gripper, which is um, a purely mechanical one called the rack and pinion. An actuator goes in and out. It's basically a wheel, a straight wheel that goes in and out. It's the rack. It has teeth on both sides. And as this rack, teeth rack, goes in and out by means of the actuator in the back, it, ro it turns the pinions, the two pinions, uh, to the sides, so the gripper is opened and closed. It's a very simple process. The actuator can be digitally controlled, either pushed or pulled, or again, can be motor controlled to have these grippers, gripper hands, um, closing analog, analogly. The actuator itself is, a, is an axle by itself that is attached either to a motor or to a piston. If the piston push the actuator, then the rack will go forward, the grippers will, go, will, get, close, will get closer or open, it depends if it's positive, positive mechanism or negative mechanism. The actuator can be a motor that will rotate a lead screw, that lead screw will push this uh, rack outside and pull it inside, going in and out in an analog fashion. So in case of a motor-driven system, the actuator is being pushed by a lead screw or a nut, which is a lead screw that the motor rotates and the nut moves on the lead screw and the nut actually pushes or pulled, uh, pull, pulls the actuator.